I'm leaving now. I'm going to the next country. And I didn't even tell you guys what country that's gonna be. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. We are going to... time here in Cairo. It's my very last day here. I'm all alone now. My name is Victoria Rose, by the way. I'm leaving now. I'm going to the next country. And I didn't even tell you guys what country that's gonna be. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. We are going to Greece. We're going to Athens. Or we're gonna go there for a little while. And then we're gonna go to another country. All new countries to me. And so what I have to do now is get to the airport. We'll first pack get to the airport hopefully I can get in that's the that's the real challenge here getting in hopefully everything goes smooth I got a PCR test um, I did I, I have everything I got the passenger locator form I checked in I um, have my vaccination card there's nothing else that I can possibly do to prepare for going into this next country and this is pivotal in my traveling because a lot of countries are not letting uh, people from I guess Egypt come in to some of them, but the the Europe just actually just opened up to Americans. It's amazing news, and I guess it's a bit old, of old news now, but Greece is letting vaccinated uh, people in. So uh, I think it's gonna be easy. Layla Bye. already went through to Greece, and she went through easy. So hopefully I have the same experience, but with my luck, who knows? But I do have a ride for my host here. I didn't really unpack too much because I haven't been here that long. I need to pack up my treasures here. I'm gonna shower. I have to leave here in like four hours. I have four hours, I'm good. So I'm just gonna get a shower, maybe call my mom or something. I always call my mom before I travel. Close this door. Say goodbye to the pyramid views. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to pack all my stuff into two suitcases. I have a carry-on and a check-in and no personal item because this flight doesn't allow you to have a carry-on and a sh uh, personal item. Usually flights, in case you don't know, allows you to have a carry-on, which is around this size, and then a pers personal item, which would be a purse, laptop bag, or book bag. Um, so I have my book bag and then I have my carry-on all the time. But this flight doesn't allow that and I'm not paying extra, so I stuffed it in there. And I'm wearing this coat because I can't fit it in anywhere else and it's very hot here. But I did it. I did do it. I did it. Because we are budget traveling always. I, would, I should be a professional at this by now. But let me tell you, every airport experience is different and you never learn it fully. You never know. I'm very grateful for my travels to Egypt, but it's time to move on and go to the next adventure. My primary reason for choosing Greece is that it's one of the only countries that would be easier to get into from Egypt, as Egypt has been red listed by a lot of places. So once I spend 10 days in Greece, I'll be quote unquote clean and clear to go to other countries again. Back at the airport, this is my home. All alone again. On the road again. Ugh. Okay, let's go do this. I made it. I did it. I'm in Greece. Now I'm just waiting for my taxi. Uh, so you, we had to get a random PCR test after we landed and we had to show the passenger locator form a whole bunch and I had to show my vaccination card a whole bunch but I had all the things I needed and I didn't even need the PCR test at all. Hopefully I can get into other European countries without PCR tests and just the vaccination card. I can't think right now. I'll update you soon. After a three hour plane ride and a struggle to find my taxi, we finally make it to Athens, Greece. here. I'm so tired. Um, waiting to check into my Airbnb. Um, can't check until 2. 
I found my friend Layla in Greece and we went out to get some food. I got some Greek coffee and Kikoko Pali, which is a spoon sweet, and I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's the best I can do. It's a very Greek thing, and then Layla got a cappuccino. One of my favorite things to do is to try the food and coffee in different countries, and Greek food is nostimo, delicious, I love it. I feel so fancy. Classical music. <laughs> my god, what an adventure. So I was down there, no idea how to get up here. Anyways, I finally found the sleep box that I'm staying at, and I'm gonna do a, a whole video about the sleep box. This is why I'm staying here, because Oh, that was a really interesting idea and it looks really cool. Haven't gone in yet. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to give you a full tour of this tiny, tiny sleep box in Athens, Greece. So for dinner, I settled on a falafel wrap. They're very good for vegetarians and one of my favorite Mediterranean foods. I don't know where this video is going, where this video is about. I'm just here. I was in Egypt yesterday and now I'm here today. And it's interesting traveling. Because one day you're in this one place and the next day you're in this totally different place where the culture is completely different. Everything is so different. Like, Everybody here, you know, is walking around in, in short shorts and bikini tops and stuff. And then yesterday, everyone was covered head to toe with only their eyes showing. And the people are just different. It's very interesting. This is what I love about travel. It's, I just like to look. Sometimes I don't even have to interact, and I don't even want to interact. I just like to look at everything and see. And it's nice. And this falafel is amazing. Um, if you're in Greece, I guess, go to Sapelas. I'm sorry, Denai, for butchering your language. My best friend is from Greece. But I don't, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know the agenda yet. I have no plan. But it's exciting. It's a nice, I just want to kind of be a bit chill after Cairo. Cairo is intense. 